as we have discussed, the cytoskeleton of the cell is dynamic. It changes with cellular needs. So in order for cell, uh, the cytoskeleton to be dynamic, you would need proteins that can top up the cytoskeleton. You would need these proteins not only to get rid of the existing cytoskeleton, but in case also if you want to form new or more cytoskeleton, you would top off the existing cytoskeleton. So you would have, if you have, you started out with two, for example, microtubules. If you cut them, now you will have four microtubules, shorter microtubules, but now you have four plus cents onto which new subunits can attach. And as these, when these filament, filaments elongate, you will have more microtubules in that cell. So two reasons, you want to get rid of the old cytoskeleton and form new one because the cell needs have changed or you want to increase the amount of polymer in the cell. Let's talk about microtubule severing proteins first. The severing cotanin is the molecule that severs microtubules. The severing of filaments by the microtubules or actin changes the physical and mechanical properties of cytoplasm, stiff large bundles and gels become more fluid when the filaments are severed. As I mentioned, the protein cotanin can sever uh, microtubules. It is named after the Japanese word for the sword. This molecule accomplishes this demanding task by using energy from ATP to remember to sever the microtubule, you have to break 13 longitudinal bonds for each proto protofilament, which requires energy. Cotanin is made up of two subunits, the smaller subunit that hydrolyzes ATP and performs the actual severing, and a larger one that directs cotanin to the centrosome. Cotanin, cotanin, they, they seem similar, but if you remember, beta-cotanin is a different protein. It has a completely different function. We talked about it when we were talking about APC. So this word is pronounced as cotanin, not cotanin. Cotanin releases microtubules from their attachment to a microtubule organizing center, has a critical role in a microtubule depolymerization observed at the poles of microtubule spindle during mitosis. It is also found in proliferating cells, in interface, and also in post-mitotic cells such as neurons. Neurons, remember, extend these long processes, axons and dendrites. So the microtubules cannot, are needed to stabilize these structures. They cannot do that if they're attached to the centrosome. They have to be severed from the centrosome so they can be transported into axon where they can stabilize that cellular process. In order to do that, you would need a molecule that can sever microtubules at the site where they're generated, which is as we have discussed, at the centrosome or microtubule organizing center. Now, uh, let me talk about actin severing. The gelsolin protein severs actin filaments. Gelsolin severing activity is activated by high levels of cytosolic calcium. Now, let's see how this protein is used for uh, severing activity in platelets and how they, it, this protein helps Platelets do their job. I just want to remind you uh, that platelets are tiny cells in our, uh, in our blood which do not have nucleus. Uh, they circulate in the circulatory system and they help uh, us form clots when uh, we have an injury. Calcium activates gelsolin, which cleaves the capped filaments into tiny fragments. Each now have been capped by gelsolin. So actin filaments present in, um, in these cells or uh, smaller, um, well, smaller cell fragments called platelets, they, these actin filaments have a cap on their plus end. That is called, that protein is called CAPZ. I will, uh, CAPZ is a very important protein. We'll talk more about CAPZ when we discuss muscle. But here I would like to point out that CAPZ here is stabilizing these actin filaments in the, in the, Platelet cells, gelsolin gets activated when there's an increase of calcium ion concentration 
it severs these actin filaments and now you have more actin filaments some of these actin filaments are cross linked into a film by filament and others are bundled by alpha actinin and also these smaller act, uh, uh, these smaller actin filaments they polymerize and form these longer filaments and these longer filaments then can be bundled by bundling proteins forming gels or uh, also filopodia uh, sorry lamellopodia and also filopodia they spread across the clot attach the tissue dermid tissue via these proteins that we talked about integrin proteins that can bind uh, different molecules so here is this um, schematic let me uh, show you this would be hopefully easier so you have a platelet the plus ends of these actin filaments are capped by cap z it is a protein that prevents actin filament depolymerization we have a sing uh, speak signal uh, in is initiated that increases the calcium ion concentration which activates gelsolin see these longer actin filaments are now severed so you have more actin filaments but they are capped at this stage the the signal that activated or uh, resulted in release of calcium ion also is going to cause these proteins to now come off the plus ends allowing these actin filaments to polymerize or lengthen here now you have longer actin filaments once that happens these bundling proteins will link actin filaments and they'll form these structures either these filopodia lamellopodia and some of these actin bundles will be contractile when these actin bundles contract they pull the tissue that has been damaged together and they thereby seal the tissue so uh, blood will will not be lost now let me show you electron micrographs of this process here you have a platelet cells on the top you have these platelet cells they are resting they are not doing anything prior to activation the one below this cell has been activated so in this case you as we saw in the diagram actin filaments are polymerizing so the cell is larger than the one uh, than, than the cells on top and then these contractile uh, these contractile uh, filaments that were that are formed uh, that are formed by actin and myosin when they contract the whole structure pulls uh, pulls together and the edges where there has been a damage they can come close together and the wound is sealed so this is how platelets work and actin filaments play a very important role in preventing blood loss